How's it going guys? Better days online here. <laughs> uh, welcome to this uh, newbie package guide. Um, this is basically because a lot of players I've noticed in stream and also in comment section in my YouTube videos that you guys have been asking like, oh, what should I do? Like I'm having a hard time like beginning in the game or whatever. It is a very complicated game. Don't worry. Um, this is more of an updated thing. And also I'll try to encompass the this video around other server regions as well. I'll attempt to. I don't really know where you guys are in content updates between the S Southeast Asia server and the South America servers. Um, they're all different, <coughs> but NA is ahead of it. But then I've also heard notes that the SEA region has better UI than the North American servers. So like the updates are all over the place and none of them seem to be consistent across the board. But um, for those who are like in the Medea regions or whatever, um, I guess a good path uh, but first, I'm going to start off with basically what's currently in NA. So first off, here's the welfare gear. Um, I have pretty much almost all the welfare gear except for a few things. Um, you should pretty much be able to get about 350 to 360 gear score with simply pure welfare gear. Um, so if you're a new player coming straight into Black Desert, I highly suggest that you do the main quest line. Um, I don't have it enabled anymore because it, you, I can only do it once. I can't do it a second time. Um, if you hit O on hotkey default, uh, make sure this prefer uh, quest at the bottom here at the bottom is highlighted orange so it highlights all your quests. <coughs> Might be a bit intimidating as you go through the world, um, but do do all these main quests, especially the one with uh, Medea Journey um, because it gives you a Black Abyssal weapon. The Black Abyssal weapon is equivalent to a plus 16 or a Pry weapon. Uh, it is better than plus 15 weapons, and if you're playing on a class that you're really unsure of and you might want to re-roll into something else later, this weapon can be burned down and exchanged with uh, Abdul, Abdul Jom or whatever in uh, in Alta Nova every week. Yeah, you can you can burn it down and head it into this guy every week, and you can open the box on a different character to unlock a different main hand weapon. So if you don't like the class you're playing, re-rolling is actually pretty much free at this point uh, a week later. So every week you should be able to try out a new class. The Roaring Magical Armor is pretty decent for beginners. Uh, and then the full set of the Medea Merchants Union, Derek's Light Leather Shoes, and Bea's Black Magic Gloves. You get this from doing that main quest that also grants you the Black Abyssal Weapon. I don't have it on my Witch right now. As well as the offhand, I don't have a Dim Magical or a Roar Magical offhand, which you can get in the Calpheon regions of the game. Uh, that's also given to you for free as well. It's definitely better than a plus 15 weapon as far as I'm concerned. But then uh, if you need further upgrades beyond welfare gear levels, you're going to have to start bringing your gear to duo and tri levels. So basically all this gear is actually pretty good for a uh, decent backup. And also you can just freely like enhance or purchase other uh, equipment on the fly. Now for the accessories, the accessories are a little bit different. You do have to go through the Kama Sylvia quest line to get like the Anbelif earring or the Grana Oath earring as well as the Grana Guardian necklace, and I don't have the ring because I didn't bring a third character through it. And then these two rings here, um, the Capodia ring is a little bit ex extreme for noobs because you do need a level 61 character to obtain this. So this is a little bit beyond the scope of realistic for new players. Um, but something like Barhan's Ring of Conquest or like Sahazad's like Ring of whatever, you get all those from doing the Valencia quest lines. So if you do the Valencia quest lines, uh, you should be able to get a ring from that for free and it's permanent for your character. Also a great backup, it's equivalent to like a Pry Mark of Shadows or even just like uh, like just slightly worse than a Pry Crescent ring as well. So definitely go do those things. And you might be wondering like, well, what's the whole point of this? Well, the other thing is like, if you hit the full set, you save yourself a lot of money and you also have decent power enough to just go start farming any air, most, most of the world anyways. And um, in terms of the belt slot, you might, want to chase after this in um, the Asula belt in the Elric shrines, uh, but other than that you can also just purchase a belt that's pretty cheap, pretty easily obtainable like a prize shelter or something or even a ancient guardian uh, or ancient weapon core or whatever and that's only like 10 mil. Um, not very hard to get that money by the time you finish all of these the other thing that comes together with you as a new player is that you'll you'll have uncovered a lot of the new areas. Make sure you talk to every NPC. If you haven't seen my energy expansion video, it's like three minutes long, go check that out on how to raise your energy more because I've answered that far too many times. 
And then um, then there's also uh, the CP and all the CP EXP that you'll get from it. You'll get a massive amount. A lot of players I knew that were that came to stream and you know just asked questions or whatever. They're like, oh, what do I do to get more CP? Is like I'm just crafting every day. I'm like, you don't want to start crafting as a new player just off the bat because one, you have to set it up. Two, you're gonna need workers, and three, you're gonna need materials, and four, you're gonna need at least some kind of equipment to make it like fast and worthy for yourself. And you don't want to waste your active time waiting on crafts to happen just to expand your CP. If you do quests early on up to 255 cp you should be able to rock it right through it almost in less than a week and get that get that 255 cp in probably less than seven days and have all your welfare gear and have a bunch of energy expansion as opposed to just trying to set up some kind of afk craft if you're able to set up an afk craft do it overnight don't do it while during the day when you have got time to like you know play the game if you want and then as well um all that, all that gear together is uh, once you start replacing each piece by piece with whatever gear you want it to be there, uh, preferably either like Heave, Grenel, Rokaba, Boss Armor, whichever, um, then you start replacing them one by one, toss it over to an alt, your alt will eventually, you can use that on your alts to chase bosses, so then they'll at least be decently geared enough to actually tackle the boss without getting one-shotted in the face by a boss. And then uh, at the same time, as you're going through that as well, uh, once you have enough of these, if you're doing um, something like the Ambleif earring or the Grana Grana accessories here, the second time you bring the character through those quest lines, they'll also be a lot more easier because some of the knowledge is already unlocked, some of the objectives are already pre-completed. So you know the second time through with a second character or a third character should be hyper fast, and and your CP EXP is not nerfed at all. It's exactly the same for the second character through. And by the time you finish two or three characters through, you'll have the full set of welfare gear and then also like a shit ton of uh, CPE XP. So I've got nearly a whole bar of CP just from doing that. And that's beyond 350 for if you're under 255, you probably get like at least six or seven uh, CP points minimum. So it should be really good for new players at this point. So in other regions of the servers, uh, you guys have like, I've. I've heard reports that you know Medea is the only region you guys have up to. Um, I would say like things you should dive into once you've hit that sort of like uh, the gear tier chase or whatever, where where gear is kind of like frozen. Uh, if you don't have gold accessories yet, you might want to save your money for that. Hold your blue gear as like backup for uh, when your gold stuff fails, so that you have an easier time when uh, gold stuff does come. So if you Say like you have a dual crescent or whatever, which is really expensive, and you have like a tri mark of shadows, right? Tri mark of shadows is better than the dual crescent, even though they're like almost equivalent AP. Um, the difference is that tri mark of shadows has slightly more accuracy because of the enhancement level, so it is technically better than a dual crescent. So until you get a tri crescent, there's no point to really fully replace the tri mark of shadows, for instance. But then if you explode your dual crescent, you still have your tri mark of shadow just sitting there waiting for you. You probably don't want to push it beyond that, but it's up to you. It's generally cheaper to upgrade blue stuff anyways, compared to gold, so you can obtain power faster as usual. Uh, it's always up to you, the player, if you want to go for min-maxing or if you want to gain power faster and also be more you know, useful in the short run than in the long run. If the long run, you're going to have to get all the maximum, like most expensive stuff, and obviously that's a marathon and not a sprint. So hopefully this kind of information helps you out for the most part, and just something to keep in mind. Also, as you're expanding your world over time kind of thing, uh, you may want to invest energy into things that don't reset or things you are considering to be permanent connections. Um, towns, for instance, never you can never reset them, so I raised them to level 10. Uh, Valencia is a very useful one because I siphon Rokaba armor out of the NPC. Um, if you level up a town, it basically makes the conversations easier. It even says so if you just mouse over the tooltip when you uh, zoom into a town <coughs> right there. And um, also on nodes, uh, I've heard, I've had uh, collaborated reports with some players. You can believe it or not, but um, they told me that uh, basically the higher level you're gathering nodes, the more product you get out of, out of the node. So you can also invest your energy and toss it into that. Otherwise, you should spend it on a night vendor or you should go gather something like nuts or gather a crap ton of water and raise your house fame raising your house fame is also uh pretty important as well because this grants you daily money so if you can't even have your computer logged on uh you do get house fun fame granted to you every day uh regardless of if you're logged on or off 
Um, life fame is a bit harder to raise. You do have to bring every profession to professional one in order to get 15 points off of it. Otherwise, anywhere from beginner to skill 10, it grants zero. So once you get professional one, you get 15 points. So if you do that across all the professions, which is like processing, uh, cooking is generally pretty easy and gathering pretty easy to get to professional one. Um, alchemy could be a bit slower. Uh, fishing is also easy to get to professional one. Um, and trading, I believe, is pretty easy to get to professional one. So you can get those across like a bunch of alts. You can eventually make it to the 751 cat. The special fame here, I have 806. This is a bonkers, bonkers level uh, type of fame. Um, I don't expect much of anybody to reach this and beyond. This is generally the top, like, you know, very few people have a beyond 800 uh, special fame. This is a combination of your total CP and the amount of knowledge entries you have in the game. And then you've got uh, combat fame, which is basically just character levels because I have two level 61s. This is why my combat fame is so extremely high. So that's hopefully that's some tips to help you uh, get from Dev Diary. Oh, okay. Um, so hopefully this is some tips that'll help you out in the game. Uh, you got any other questions down below? I'll try and consolidate them all into a huge post and pin it if I think it'll be very useful to you all. Um, other than that, though. Uh, knowledge points oh also knowledge points jesus christ um go over that another day but anyways i hope this helped you out so do do the main quests in medea just to summarize uh, medea is eventually it'll get you, if in your version if it's not the na version uh hopefully these quests will come soon for you because getting that entire armor set is very useful they each have two crystal slots too which is kind of strange because it's technically more useful than the lemoria set because it's got the two crystal slots but the Lemoria set has 10% bonus skill EXP, which is the only allure of it, as far as I've determined, unless you're running a Liverto. Um, and then these accessories are pretty much ran through by getting the Kama Sylvia quest lines. Uh, if not, then you can just use the Valencia ones, which will come eventually anyways. And then the earrings, you can probably have pirate earrings or something else that is readily available in the game that's at the blue, blue tier level. Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all next time and bye bye for now. <coughs> I'm gonna fucking die to this cough.